So welcome to this little tutorial. My name is Julian Kunkel. I will be talking briefly about how to use Parallax Remote Desktop to access the computers that we have in our lab in G56. You can use this in particular as the machines that we have in G56 are more powerful than your machines at home. So you may want to use basically a, a weak laptop or desktop PC to connect remotely to the PCs we have there and then run the software on these machines. Th this provides a very good experience, similarly then you would sit in front of them. And so without further ado, let's get started. So first what you need to get done is to you have to install apps anywhere. That works for Mac and for Windows in the same place. All you need to do is you visit appsanywhere.readingaceuk, this domain, then you will install it. So I assume you have done it following another tutorial. Okay, once you've done it, visit Apps Anywhere again. Click here on Desktops, and in Desktops you will find, you will find Poorly Vetcher for remote access. You press Launch, it will run the Cloud Player from Apps Anywhere. And basically, a moment later, you should be getting the software, the parallel remote desktop, and it should connect you to it. Later, if you want to reconnect, you will, ha you will have to go to the web page again. So it's a good idea to bookmark it, potentially. So while this is loading, so it, it may take a moment or so. Um, now I'm connected to one of the many PCs that we have in Chief 56. So note that the PC is randomly chosen, basically. So it means whenever I reconnect, I may get a new PC. That is similar than you would try to get into the lab and someone would sit in front of a PC that you've used the last time. So you would just go to another spot, right? So I have basically here, in this case, um, I was already connected to this machine. And uh, here, what you want to do often is you want to install additional software. Let's say, for example, I want to use MATLAB. So you need to run apps anywhere again. Finally, on the machine now in G56, not to confuse, right? So if I do that, um, basically you get this apps anywhere window and you can install the software again. This takes a little moment, right? But it's much faster than an actual physical installation because most of the data gets streamed over the network because we're using apps anywhere. Anyhow, um, let me mention one situation that you have as well in G56 and that is whenever you use software in G56 and you move to another PC and you save data, the question is where did you save it and how can you access it again? If you save it in the end drive, you can access it from different PCs and therefore I would recommend you to use um, this option or you set up OneDrive, which works as well on the PC and then you can save it in the cloud, right? So use always NDrive, don't save your data in C and now I can basically use any software I want, such as Visual Studio, for example, and run it remotely, right? And I have here a very powerful GPU, so a graphics card in this machine, so you can even use uh, nice graphic ap um, tools like, such as Unity. If you want to log out, well, just you know, click on power and disconnect. And I'm now back to my normal local Windows. So I, I wish you good luck. And uh, this is now a trial phase. So this is really new software, thanks to DTS. And uh, if you have any feedback, um, let us know if you like it or dislike it. We hope this really supports you in your learning as an alternative to the virtual machine that you have as computer science student and apps anywhere and even local installations that you might do on your own machine.